Uh, all honesty, Puerto Rico is a nice place, and I'm definitely would encourage you guys to come and check it out for yourself, man, and experience what an amazing island this is. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of My World. If this is your first time on this channel, man, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get updated on the latest video then um today we're going to be talking about why we decide to move to puerto rico so there is a lot of reason why we decide to puerto rico so we're just gonna jump straight to them one by one and where the decision came from and you know how it all became to happen I miss you guys. I know the board, the videos just aren't as good without me, you know. <laughs> but I'm back now, so you guys don't have to see just him uh, all the time. You can get, you know, a little uh, bit of shahada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You know, there was a lot of reasons why we moved. Like before everything, like let me explain you guys so that Puerto Rico had a have a big influence there in Nicaragua ever since I was a kid growing up like I've been listening to reggaeton music like Daddy Yankee like all these other artists them Don Omar all these guys them that we was looking up to them as I was growing up in Nicaragua and I always wonder like the way them like portray Puerto Rico I always wanted to know what it was like and then I moved to the United States and it came to be that my stepdad was Puerto Rican. My sister is half Puerto Rican, as you all noticed previously, and um, I brought her on to the show. And uh, I always wanted to visit Puerto Rico, and I asked my stepdad, you know, like, yo, can I, one day, can I, when you go to Puerto Rico, can I just go with you? And he said, yes, he was gonna bring me, but then again, it never happened. Well, our first time in Puerto Rico was like on a cruise when I was like eight or nine and I've always said it was my favorite place even though I was younger. But as I got older, I've always wanted to come and visit Puerto Rico because you know your experience when you're young with your parents to your experience when you're grown is just real different. Um, so this wasn't like something that we just, you know, sporadically just moved to Puerto Rico out of nowhere. We've actually been planning this for about a year. like. I think last July, I think we were sitting in bed and talking about it, and, and I was like, babe, would you go? And he's like, yeah, I'll go. And we're like, all right, let's go then. <laughs> so that is how the whole idea came up, you know, like, um, how about like we move over there and we discussed it several times and we discussed like our chances and to make this actually happen and how it was gonna happen we like had all this plan and all these crazy yep. ideas yep. so let's just jump into telling you like the reasons first i just want to say that ever since that i like went to nicaragua like i swear like i just love the latin american culture and you know people can always always like to say that you know puerto rico is part of america and it's not the same Puerto Rico is not like it is in the mainland. Like it is just like a, like a normal part of Latin America. And I love the island, the vibes, the energy, the pace, and just everything is different. I feel the same way about Nicaragua. I just like Babe has told me before, like you know, in the in the United States, it's like everything is like on go 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 go. And I feel like in Latin American culture, everything is a lot more laid back and relaxed. And you know, you get to enjoy life a little bit. More. When I first moved here, like, my first impression was, like, how green it was, like, it, it just reminded me, basically, of home, the food, you know, because it doesn't matter where you're going in, in Latin America, man, like, most, most likely, we eat, like, the same things, them, you know, so, like, by me coming here, and eating the foods, them, and vibing with the people, like, those are things, them, that I miss, because, like, in the United States, I don't really get that very much to where I can vibe like with my Latin people or eat very much like the Latin food and always being around the culture. I and mean, that is what I like about Puerto Rico, other than the people them like are really nice and genuine. And not to say that you can't find you can't find the culture in the mainland, because you can in the US. It's just you have to you know you kinda gotta go out of your way to find it. And here it's like you're surrounded by the culture. 
So Shahada wanted to learn Spanish and I was actually trying to convince her for us to move to Nicaragua, you know. <laughs> Since all my family is in Nicaragua, but she was like, oh, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. So I was like, okay, then we're just gonna move Puerto Rico, but next time I choose where we want to go. You get me? So I give her this one this mm -hmm. time, and next time is gonna be what I want. And as far as me learning Spanish, you guys already know, you have seen the videos before about me learning Spanish, but um, I think it's completely different to be like immersed in the culture. And there's so many, there's numerous amounts of reasons of why I want to learn Spanish. But even as far as what I want to do in my career, it's just so very beneficial to me to be bilingual as well as being able to speak to his daughters, to being able like to communicate and you meet so many different beautiful people that you wouldn't have been exposed to if you never learned the language. The other reason was because of my kids. like. You know, I got two kids in Nicaragua that are fluent in Spanish and don't speak no English. I got two that is in Florida and they fluent in English and speak no Spanish. So I think this also gonna be like a great opportunity for my um, kids that are in Florida that gonna be moving here with us. Like for them to come here and just like get into the culture and you know just be surrounded by the culture and the language so they can learn as well. That way whenever they visit to Nicaragua again they can just like bond with their sister and the rest of family you know and just like surprise them because the last time they went to Nicaragua like everybody was just making fun of them with a little bit of Spanish that they know you know so like for them to come here now it would just like make me so happy to hear, to hear them speak in their native language. And I think a big trigger for that was, you know, just hearing your sister talk about how disconnected she felt from her culture. And I've always said things about it, but I feel like when he actually heard her like say, like as you guys saw, that was the first time they talked about it, like how she felt disconnected. And when people asked her to speak Spanish or asked her about her culture and she couldn't, and that's something that I don't want to see for them. They are mixed kids, they look like they're Hispanic, and people are always going to ask them, so what are you mixed with? Um, do you know Spanish? Do you know how to dance? Like, you know, do you know salsa and stuff like that? And I don't want that for them either. I want them to be exposed to their culture. The kids, they're like really excited and just got out of school and you know, like every minute they're asking their mom, oh mom, when I'm gonna move to Puerto Rico, I'm ready. Daddy said he was gonna bring us after school is over. Why we haven't been in Puerto Rico yet? Uh, Daddy, I wanna go to Puerto Rico. So like, um, I just want to see like, what is gonna be like for them transitioning from United States to the whole Spanish culture, going to school here and only receiving things in um, Spanish. By the way, the school that they're going to be attending also going to be like, um, the teacher is going to be bilingual and they're going to be taking classes apart as well, where they're going to be teaching them Spanish only. Plus, we got planned for them like to get like a tutor to wear it. Yeah, a tutor. Yeah, a tutor. <laughs> That can help them as yeah. well um, with them Spanish, you know. As far as my knowledge is, most of the schools here in Puerto Rico, they're required to have, like, I don't, like in the U.S., they have it to where when you come there, they teach English as a foreign language, so they have that extra class to give them help. Well, here it's, like, the opposite. Like, they don't speak Spanish, so they're going to have that extra help with learning Spanish and in that class, and extra tutoring. Other than those reasons them that we mentioned, well of course, you know, we're seeking adventures where we just want to like come and experiment and share with you guys and share with the world so that Puerto Rico is not what the media portray and all of these things. Them like ever since I came here, like you know, I'm, I'm just enjoying everything. I have like no complaint. Uh, I'll honestly, Puerto Rico is a nice place and I am definitely would encourage you guys to come and check it out for yourself, man, and experience what an amazing island this is. Yeah, I like, I absolutely love it. And I felt that um, we came here in December to kind of scope it out and figure out what area we want to live in. I love the area that we live in. It's like 10 minutes from the airport, it's 10 minutes from the beach, maybe like 15 minutes from San Juan but it's still like the area we're in is not touristy but it's not far for us to get to the touristy area of 
wanted to. Um, you can still see like the devastation of Hurricane Maria. In you certain know. places. Yes, in certain places. Like around here where we live, there is a lot of places that was affected by it as well. Um, you know, like business and houses. But um, people are still living life, man, and enjoying like nothing ever happened, you know. So like we're just doing the same as well. Yeah. Blending in and enjoying with them. Um, a lot of people so far will look at me and think say that you know like I mean that I don't speak Spanish. So it is crazy because you know like even in the United States I'm coming here. I'm still not. People still don't know that I'm I'm Hispanic. You know like people will still be so surprised or shocked and I, that I'm Hispanic. And I know that you guys will find that interesting because there are a lot of black people. Puerto Rico or people of his skin color in Puerto Rico and I don't know if it's just because he's with me and they'll hear me speaking English and me and him talking English they just assume that you know that he must not know Spanish um but like the ta like the Uber drivers like when we're riding in an Uber like me and him will be talking the Uber driver will be silent the whole time and Chris said something in Spanish and it'll be like oh <laughs> you speak Spanish and then they're trying to have like a whole conversation with him they didn't want to talk to him before because they didn't know that he spoke Spanish. Me personally, like most of the time, I be speaking English, so I, I guess it just gives people that perspective about me, so that I'm, I may not be bilingual or I'm not Hispanic or I don't know what it is. I just don't look Hispanic, and I then guess. And to add to that, I think Chris keeps forgetting that he's in Puerto Rico because when he starts talking to people, he just start like, "How you doing?" And then he'd be like, "Oh." Like, you know, like he, he, he forgets and I think people think sometimes when he does that, that means he doesn't speak Spanish. He's just so used to speaking English all the time. That's his, that's his first mind. And sometimes he'll be like saying stuff, people are like, babe, I don't think they understand you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the reason, you know, because like, like she said, like, I, I'm, I was, it been so long that I've been around the culture, like in the United States, I really don't be speaking Spanish very much. And I had felt to the point where like I had lost somewhat my Spanish and you know I was forgetting words in Spanish and things like that. So just coming over here you now we're going to Nicaragua or wherever it is like I don't just speak Spanish flat out like the first thing I'll go to is English. So I think that is what be like you know just throwing people off and making them think and say that I'm actually not like um Hispanic or whatever the case may be other than I'm dread up and you know I look the way I look you feel me I think it's a great experience still and I can't wait to show you guys man everything that you know we have experienced and went through here so far Beside all of that, you know, like we came here also other than Shahada trying to learn Spanish, the kids then going to school. Me personally, I came here to go to school as well and I want to, I want to um, study in aviation, you know, so hopefully your boy going to be fixing plane pretty soon, you know. Yeah, and the cost of the program here is like, I want to say more than a half cheaper for him to go to school here versus the program that was in Tampa or any other program in the mainland that I've seen. I don't know, like, it's just crazy that you're getting the same program for the same amount of years, but like this over here is like three times higher than this over here. So um, that was one one of the main reasons as well that we moved here, you know, for me to come and just take out this career and, you know, like see where life can take me. God first, everything come out good, you know what I'm saying? Um, when we first told our family about this thing, man, it was like, whoa. <laughs> like matter of fact we didn't tell anybody until like it was almost time to move here my mom actually ended up finding out because i told a couple of people and i didn't want to tell my mom yet because my mom's the type of person that i know that if i don't have everything planned out then she's gonna freak out so i was like i'm just gonna wait um until you know i have everything planned out so when i tell her i can say i'm doing this this and this this is how i'm gonna take care of myself this is how i'm gonna do this but somebody told her before I got a chance to, so she called me and she's like, what is this about you moving to Puerto Rico? And I was like, well, um, it's not a for sure thing yet. It, it really was, but I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want her to like flip out. Um, but she was really hesitant about it at first. I think all of, like, all of my family, um, I would say all of them, my aunt was really supportive and but you know, a lot of people kind of hesitant. Like they didn't understand why I would want to go do 
that why I want to leave um, especially to go to Puerto Rico where so many people are leaving because of Hurricane Maria why would I want to go there well my mom uh, like she was just like I uh, know about it. Yeah, he, she let <laughs> she, she let like, him have it. She would have <laughs> let me have it if she was talking to uh, me. <laughs> she was so mad, like, what are you going to do to Puerto Rico? You know, like, um, you know, like basically, like, cause of the hurricane and like how the media portray things and you know, like, why you're taking my grandkids away from me? Like, she was just like literally going off about everything, and I was like. I'm trying to like explain to her so that you know like when we didn't just like visit Puerto Rico to visit we visit Puerto Rico also to scope out and see like what it's like and forward and we make a word decision you know but um other than that like my friends and my sister like my sister was like oh cool you know she's always supportive um, my little sister, she's excited about it as so as you guys know, she's Puerto Rican and um, you know, she never been to Puerto Rico as so, so this would be like a great opportunity for her to move here or come here and visit. Don't say move, your mom, your mom's gonna hurt you. <laughs> or come here and visit and be a part of her culture as well too. Um, my other friends then was like, wow bro, like you moving and this and that. Some of them was excited, you know, and some of them was just like questioning and Know, but the biggest thing from from letting everybody else know I think it was our parents yeah like the parents were like the biggest things you know I just finished with my master's degree so um, my stepdad's just like why, like what why when are you gonna start doing what you got your degree for what was the point of you getting your degree my mom they, they honestly they want me to move where they're at that's just not a point in my life that I'm ready for yet. I feel like I'm young. I want to experience things. Like, I still have time. And that goes on to another point we wanted to talk about is not allowing other people to project their fears onto you. And sometimes when people tell you not to do something, it's because it's something that they wouldn't do themselves. Definitely, man. And we've had so many obstacles um, as far as moving here. A lot of plans that didn't go our way, things that didn't go exactly the way we wanted them to. But you know, we're still here. Yeah. We're still pushing, and you know, we're getting to the place we want to be at. We're gonna be telling you guys a story time about like everything that we planned that really didn't go as planned. <laughs> you know, are you guys gonna see that in the next video? Um, but besides that, like this was the reasons why we moved to Puerto Rico and well thank God that we are here and we have our place all what we're waiting for now is the kids you know Shahada is working I'm working and um we're here yeah and if you guys have any questions put them down below so we can do a QA and a we'll answer all the questions you guys might have about moving to Puerto Rico finding a house finding jobs you know, whatever questions you might have. See, I'm sounding like you. Whatever questions you may have. <laughs> and guys, please don't forget also to go and check out my Instagram at EAKNICAFLOW505. Go and like my Facebook page as well, NICAFLOW505. You know, um, you guys can see me more personal than just here vlogging and, and other stuff. And make sure you guys go and click on the link below and go see lacotoraflow.com um, we're still selling our clothes and clothing items so definitely man. make sure you go check it out definitely definitely other than that guys like stay tuned for more right Life too fly to be stressing. Don't trouble away and take your blessing. Every day is a new lesson. I'm not perfect, but I am progressing. Always shoot my shot, they step up, then I fade away. Music like the only how to get me through the day. Drop a lot of hitters, I ain't knocking what you say.